it's that young poet that they call Dream. So I've been MIA for a minute, but I'm back. Um, usually I hit you, you know, with the spoken word, but this morning I really want to talk about something that irritates me. Um, with the social media sites or whatever the case may be, I constantly go through my news feed on Facebook and I see those who don't do nothing but complain. I mean, complain about everything. But I come as a humble servant. And I praise God every day. Although this last year has been pure hell. God woke me up every morning to change my situation. So the fact that you woke up this morning and you're able to complain about whatever's going on in your life, the baby daddy, baby mama, this nigga ain't shit, this woman ain't shit, what you need to do before you get on Facebook and you start complaining, you need to take time out to get on your knees, look up in the sky and say what a good God that you serve because he didn't have to wake you up this morning for you to fucking complain about some bullshit that you put yourself into. So, basically, what I'm saying is, we go through life and we blame other people for what the hell we going through. Well, what we need to do is, we need to look in the mirror. And we need to change that person that's looking back at us. Because once you change that person that's looking back at you, and you understand that your own self-worth, nobody can affect your day or your life or your attitude or your mood and I look at you know a lot of people reading these books you know uh, Big Booty uh, Round Away Girl and this and that how about you pick up a Bible the basic instruction before leaving earth and every word in there is going to show you how to guide your life day to day. So, before you go and you blame the next man for what you're going through, look in the mirror and ask your damn self, what did you do to put yourself in this situation? Because guess what? If you don't stand for shit, you will fall for anything. So, therefore, you don't stand in being the woman or the man that you are and that God made you to be. You will fall for the bullshit that these nothing-ass niggas or these nothing-ass bitches or these nothing-ass baby mamas, these nothing-ass baby daddies will give you. So, when it all boils down to it, the only person that we have to blame for the bullshit that we go through in our lives is our damn selves. And while you going through life and you trying to change that nothing-ass nigga that you laid down with, or that nothing ass woman that you lay down with you need to really be trying to change you because a woman who knows her worth ain't gonna lay down with a nigga who ain't worth shit and a man who know his worth ain't gonna lay down with a woman that ain't worth shit or a stud who know they worth ain't gonna lay down with a fam that ain't worth shit and a fam who know her worth ain't gonna lay down with a stud that ain't worth shit so why you on Facebook Facebooking your problems how about sitting down taking some time to see yourself and facing your own motherfucking problems? Because at the end of the day, Facebook don't give a fuck about what you going through in your life. We look at this shit for entertainment. It's funny. Because motherfuckers who have their life together, who know they worth, and basically they reevaluated they like to get their shit together. Looking at that bullshit that you putting on Facebook ain't shit but entertainment. We don't give a fuck. So, how about actually sitting down, talking to God, the one person that not only cares, but the one person that's going to bring you out of that storm, opposed to looking for validation from bored motherfuckers, basically. Because I get on Facebook when I'm bored, and I get on it for entertainment. So, really, you're not going to find a solution to your problems on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If you're looking for the solutions to your problems, open up the Bible. And determine 
how you want to perceive his word. Because understand something, that everything that he has written, everything that has been written in that Bible is going to help you with whatever you're going through in life. And this is speaking from personal experience because I didn't been there. I didn't done that. I didn't Facebook my problems. I didn't told my problems to motherfuckers that don't give a shit. But at the end of the day, when I fall down on my knees and I talk to my father, at the end of the day, everything is all right. So basically what I'm saying is, Stop getting on Facebook and Facebook and your motherfucking problems or Instagram and your motherfucking problems or Twitter and your motherfucking problems and all that. Take that, take it to God because there's no problem that's too big or too small for God. And you have to understand something, that your destiny is already pre-written. So whatever you're going through, you had to go through it because somebody on some day, whether it's now, whether it's in the future, somebody needs to hear your story so you have to go through it so stop asking why me and stop fucking complaining when you wake up in the morning to the bullshit in your life look up and thank god for being able to wake up and change your fucking situation it's just that simple that young poor that they call dreams i'm out